Hey guys, it's me, Arush, and today I'm showing you this awesome Lego Optimus Prime mock. It can move by itself, but since it has motor, it also has some lights, and it's powered by power functions. So, I'll just give you a 360 degree view. Okay, so, here's the front. Let's slowly tilt it. And the back part over here, it has lights. Okay. And back to the front. So, then I'll just show you the, like the bottom and stuff. Okay, so uh, I'll just turn this on so we can see how it moves and stuff. So I'll just turn the switch on. And what's his name? Oh, come on. Looks like the motor got stuck. Sometimes the bad stuff happens in this. Which is one of the gears moving. Okay, let's try this again. It's pretty fast. And yeah. So, I'll just get out of the way for a second so you guys can see it moving. Okay. Let's turn it back. So yeah, it's pretty powerful and quick. It can't turn and it isn't RC. It's just like a fun toy that you can chase around. And maybe in race. So yeah. I just So this the mo the switch for the motor is located here. This is it's here, and then the switch to turn on the whole thing is here. But what only when this is turned on, you can switch this on to turn on the motors. It has some. It's pretty cool lights. I like how it bounces off from on the wheels. In the dark spots, it really lights up. And it's useful that way you if you if you can't see the truck anymore, the lights are still on, so you can figure out where it is in the dark. So let's make this one move then. And the back part, it's really convenient to turn off the turn off and on the motor because this this is more of a like sliding thing. So it's really quick to slide it off. So, but if, if you're holding the switch while it's moving, then it's going to be inconvenient since the motor will kind of get jammed and stuff. And ultimately, it still works, but it makes this awful noise. So, yeah, it has pretty simple mechanics. And I put the sticks over here, these rods over here, onto the battery pack. You can also take the battery pack off, but first you need to disconnect a few of the wires back here. That way you can kind of take off the batteries and put s and replace some new ones. It also has pretty good wire wire storage. Except a few of them poke up, but other than that, it works pretty good and looks pretty cool. There's a little shine over here. And it's pretty smooth too. And it came out pretty well. So anyways, that's the end of the, my video. I Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and then bye.